There are two main types of flowering plants. There are monocots and there are dicots. Monocots generally have a multiple of six petals on their flowers, like this daffodil or narcissus. Dicots usually have a multiple of five or ten petals on their flowers, like this apple blossom. If you look at inside an apple, you can see the five-fold division of the ovaries and that indicates that the flower it came from because an apple there's the flower just there that the apple has swollen up behind the flower and it has five ovaries and five petals the dicots are on this side the monocots are on this side the actual word cotyledon refers to the embryonic plant as in seed and its two halves dicotyledon and in the case of a monocot, the single embryonic leaf. Other features include, in dicots, they have dendritic leaves, dendritic venation in the leaves. The, the leaves, the veins in the leaves branch like they do in this cabbage. And also, <coughs> dicots are the only flowering trees. Monocots have parallel venation that is that all the, leaf, all the veins in the leaf are parallel to each other and they don't branch. They have fibrous roots rather than tap roots. This leaf, for example, it has parallel venation in its leaves. It also has a way of branch, the leaves actually come off like that rather than branching in a different way as they do with the dicots. And the dicots have a tap root like this carrot. Although they're all flowering trees are, mono, are dicots, there are some false trees such as palm trees, bamboo, uh, banana trees, which appear to be trees, but are not in fact woody. The reason for that is because they have a different arrangement of vessels in their stems. Of course, wheat is a, a monocot, so it's quite an important plant for human beings and the existence of flowering plants in general is very important for human beings because we evolved after them. So basically there are two types of flowering plant. There are the monocots, which have parallel venation, fibrous roots, and um, don't have secondary thickening. They're never woody. And the dicots, which have five-fold flowers rather than six or three-fold flowers. And um, dendritic leaves they form trees sometimes and there are also a few which share features of the other half like for example uh, water lilies uh, can have what appears to be a single cotyledon in their in their seeds and um, plantains the um, little herb things those have parallel venation in their leaves even though they're dicots but in general that's how it goes. There are a few herbs down the bottom which are paleo herbs which don't appear to be in either class.